Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jack. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm mixing it up. I'm on the couch. Pretty much the past like 30 videos plus have all been over there by my desk. Today, you know what I mean? Screw it. I'm not feeling like sat in the normal position, so I'm going to do it on the couch. Anyways, today's video is going to be based around Sony Vegas versus Premiere Pro. I want to basically be doing a comparison. I've done a video previously doing uh, Premiere Pro versus Adobe After Effects. And I think I even did another one that was uh, Premiere Pro versus Final Cut as well. Both videos definitely um, are interesting for video editors. Obviously, if you're using one of these editors and you're considering using the other, you can now weigh them up to basically see which one is the more obvious editor to choose for your specific type of editing. Because all the, all the different editors are kind of better for a certain type of content. For example, Sony Vegas. I use Sony Vegas for all of these YouTube videos. This is a nice, simple, easy edit, and I throw it into Sony Vegas, and I'm done in 10 minutes. You know what I mean? It's a very quick edit. I basically just listen back to what I'm saying to make sure I didn't mess up, and then, of course, add visual things on screen to, uh, to, to actually make it interesting to follow through with. However, Sony Vegas is not the most advanced program in the world as well, so you, may wanna, you, you might want to limit this to the more simpler edits. For example, like I just said, doing your YouTube videos in there, um, assuming your YouTube videos are quite a simple uh, format, for example, like mine are here. Sony Vegas suits the uh, the personality traits and the editing style of a beginner. Sony Vegas will be very accommodating for beginners because of how simplistic it is. It's very easy to pick up. It's very easy to learn and understand. It's not the hardest, most complex thing in the world. Whereas Premiere Pro, for example, also not the most complex thing in the world. However, if you're not a video editor, if you're not used to video editor layouts and you're, you, you really um, get overwhelmed by, by programs like this quickly, don't come over to Premiere Pro just yet. Understand Sony Vegas because Premiere Pro, for those that might really um, be more in the beginning stages of their editing career, uh, Sony Vegas is going to suit you much more. Premiere is going to confuse you. I've heard this from countless people who uh, are friends of mine trying to get into video editing. They try Premiere, they don't get it at all. Personally, I've only been using Premiere for um, a matter of three, four months or something like that when my homie Noah, who I do all my club videos with, basically just kind of forced me to get over onto Premiere and, uh, and stop using After Effects for everything because that was just ridiculous. But Premiere Pro for the more professional of people, I would definitely suggest. I do all my club videos in Premiere. I do all my YouTube videos in Sony Vegas. So there's definitely um, a place for each type of content. The more professional content, I would definitely come over to Premiere Pro, also, if you're offering video editing and videography for clients, oftentimes they want to know that you're doing it in Premiere because Premiere is just a universally the the main, the top video editor, basically. At, at, at the moment, Adobe is absolutely killing the game. Next up in terms of a payment plan, right? So both of these softwares, you can buy a flat out price for them or you can pay a monthly fee. However, um, the flat out price on the Sony Vegas is much more and I believe both of these flat out prices only last for a year So you have to pay like six hundred dollars for basically each of these programs I think Sony Vegas may be even be more than six hundred dollars and then after a year you have to pay that again So it doesn't really make sense to do the year um, Because it's, it's, you know, it, you don't even own it fully so for both of these programs I would suggest paying monthly however also to compare them both um, I believe that the um, the prices are quite similar for the monthly, but Premiere Pro, when you pay the monthly um, fee for buying Premiere Pro, you are going to get access to the entire Adobe suite, which is uh, something that Sony Vegas just can't offer. It's not even part of a Sony suite, um, uh, so, so to speak. Um, but yes, by, by the Adobe suite, I mean uh, After Effects, Premiere, uh, Photoshop, Illustrator, any, any Adobe program that you want for this monthly fee, you can have now. So it's a huge bonus. It is connected to this kind of uh, group of other programs that are very similar. And also these programs can work hand in hand with Premiere, which is something I'll get to later in the video actually, all right? Um, in terms of color correction, color correction is another huge point why uh, people might be comparing different video editors. Oftentimes, um, if you're editing in Sony Vegas, you are going to either uh, have to do two things. One, export your final project and do a color correction in a different program, for example, um, DaVinci Resolve, something like that. Or 
you're going to have to download plugins, which uh, there's some great plugins for Sony Vegas, don't get me wrong. Magic Bullet Looks is my favorite one. Um, however, there's no in-depth built-in color correction to Sony Vegas. Um, don't get me wrong, there's color correction, but it's just nowhere at all compared to uh, Premiere Pro's color correction. Um, unless you start getting plugins, like I said. So if you are gonna get plugins for Sony, get Magic Bullet Looks, that's the best uh, color correction plugin that I've come across. Or use Premiere for your color correction. Premiere Pro even has its own specialized color tab and uh, various different tools that help you gauge whether you're crushing certain colors from the image and uh, by, as a result of which making the quality worse and you can actually gauge the perfect color correction with their different tools. Um, 100%, personally, this is my opinion, but I don't even think it's even a competition between Premiere and Sony Vegas in terms of color correction. Sony, uh, <laughs> Sony's losing, it's just losing. Premiere is killing it in the uh, color correction um, kind of category. The next thing that I would compare these two on would be render time. In all fairness, both of these programs, uh, neither of them have a significantly better render time. However, um, also both of them are very heavy on the processor. So I do know that Sony Vegas has the ability to turn on um, GPU acceleration, which is something that will help your, uh, your renders go a little bit faster and won't put so much strain on your processor. Whereas I'm not too sure if Premiere Pro has that. However, also um, GPU acceleration can run, run you into some troubles as well over on Sony Vegas. So. I'm not really too sure. I'd say both of these are equal in terms of render time because I can't see a huge obvious difference. However, um, although Sony has a lot of different options, Premiere has far, far more options for rendering and far more different formats that are specialized. So you can pick the iPhone format and render and, uh, the, you know, I mean, it'll make an MP, MP4 that's uh, the right codec and everything like that to be on your iPhone and you can put that on Instagram, etc., whatever. Sony has similar stuff. However, Sony is um, a bit more geared towards Windows. So if you're trying to create a project that's gonna be uh, compatible on Mac, you can do it 100%. However, you have to pick the correct render settings, whereas Premiere is much more specialized for um, cross compatibility. They both are, um, all, all the file types in there are going to be working on, uh, on both systems. Um, also, like I mentioned earlier, Vegas is standalone and Premiere Pro is part of a suite. So um, also Premiere Pro works hand in hand with After Effects. So of course, um, Premiere Pro um, is great for effects. I'll get to that in a second, but some effects it just can't quite do or it's not powerful enough and it doesn't have built-in features uh, to do these things. So you can simply bring your project from uh, Premiere Pro to After Effects, make one quick adjustment or you know motion track something or, or do something that you can't do in Premiere basically and then um, export it back and continue editing on your project, you know, with pretty much no disruption at all, which is absolutely amazing. And also having said that, um, Premiere Pro is definitely winning in the category of effects and overall uh, is not lacking with the technical effects. Sony Vegas, in my opinion, is completely lacking technical effects. It's much more of a beginner based video editor. Um, a professional would, would be confused by, by Sony Vegas a little bit. I think um, there, there wouldn't be enough um, control over your actual uh, video that you're trying to edit, right? Whereas Premiere does have all these technical effects built in. It has great masking. Don't get me wrong, Sony Vegas does have masking, but it's t not great by any shred of the word. <laughs> it's quite annoying and tricky. Um, Premiere, you definitely don't have that option. The masking is great. Also, it has built-in motion track tools in Premiere where you can create a mask and then press the play button and track the motion of your mask and essentially it will do its best to figure out um, the outline that you've masked out and try to follow it throughout the edit, which is huge, absolutely huge. Um, overall though, if I was to conclude this now, I would say that if you're a beginner, go over to Sony Vegas without a shred of a doubt. If you're a professional, go over to Premiere without a shred of a doubt. Um, also, if you are a professional and you're just trying to create a much smaller level video edit, for example, like this edit right here that I'm putting on YouTube, I'm gonna use Sony Vegas for this. Nice, quick, simple edit, nothing too much, uh, nothing too fancy about it. However, likewise, if I was editing a club video and a much bigger edit, 
there's no way I'm going into Sony Vegas. It just does not live up to nearly the expectations that I have from a video editor when editing, uh, editing a higher uh, budget project like this and also just a higher quality uh, feel to it. So overall, thank you guys for watching Sony Vegas versus Premiere Pro 2018 comparison. If you enjoyed, tell me in the comment section below. Also tell me in the comment section below um, what you're using what you took from this. Maybe if I uh, filled you in on some pointers and you're thinking you've been using the wrong editor or um, whatever the case may be, tell me in the comment section below. I've been Jack Chris Jack Cole. Have a nice day and goodbye.